you do when you catch yourself feeling away other than happy? What if you're feeling sad? What if you're having a day where one thing after the other goes crummy and you call it an I got out of bed on the wrong side kind of day? Well, the fact that you recognize it means you get to choose to change it. You can become instantly happy. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. Hi, I'm Allie Bierman, and I'm really glad you came by here today. And you can find me at Thrive. Don't just survive dot com. You came here to live life full out, not just to get by. So there are four steps to turning any kind of mode that you're operating in and turn around any kind of emotion into happy. The first one. Notice your posture. Sit up straight, stand up straight. Something you'll notice about people who are depressed or anxious, they're kind of hunched over. What happens when you hunch over? Your lungs can't expand. Why is air important? Why do you always hear breathe to relax? Important part of yoga, breathing. Important part of meditation, breathing. Because breath is the life force. No breath, no life. So you want to stand up, sit up straight, and take in the air when you breathe. Also learn how to breathe from your diaphragm instead of up here. Shoulders shouldn't be going up when you breathe and down. Only thing moves, your diaphragm moves in and out. Now, the second thing you do is you smile. You see, you can't possibly experience two different feelings at the same time. If you're smiling, yeah, you can't be angry or frustrated or disappointed. When you're smiling, you come into the now, into the moment, and when you're living in the now, everything works perfectly because you're using your whole brain. You're spending that time. For most people, it's only 5% each day, but you're spending it being present. So you smile, and there's a difference between a and, a, and it's about an eighth of an inch, but you'll feel it. You'll feel it in your face because you'll feel it through your whole body. Remember last week I told you your emotions are something that are very visceral. You feel them in your body. You can locate where in your body and how. So make it a real smile. And while you're smiling, you want to say in your head, I'm choosing to feel happy now. I'm choosing to feel happy now. If you're alone, say it out loud. It's even more powerful. I'm choosing to feel happy now. Do that for at least 10 seconds while you have great posture, while you're smiling. I'm choosing to feel happy now. And while you're doing that, go back into your past. Actually, I recommend you do this at a different time so you have a memory. I kind of have like a little lockbox with happy memories. So when I'm feeling crummy and I need to feel happy, I go in and I draw out a memory that makes me feel good, that makes me feel happy, that makes me feel calm, that lets me feel at peace. You do those four steps and whatever kind of mood you were in before that had everything going wrong, it'll change instantly. You're raising your vibration, you're filling yourself with life force. And come back next week and I'll show you how to create the habit of happiness so that you'll spend more time in the happy place than not. The fact is, the default mood for people is not happy. And it takes extra energy and conscious effort to move into happy. But when you know how to create the habit of happiness, you get to live in happiness more of the time. I appreciate your clicking like and share and I will see you here next week to share how to create the habit of happiness.